Hello, hello gang. Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. Guys, I am so excited to be filming again today. <laughs> you guys probably wouldn't have noticed because I've been um, having videos released on my channel on a regular basis. But I have just come off of almost three weeks of being really, really ill. <laughs> um, I do plan on filming a whip and chat about it. Not just about being sick, but about my Mozambican holiday and then all of this that happened after I got back. But all I can say for now is, yay, I'm back feeling much better and happy to be filming a video today. Hopefully I'm not too rusty because it feels like it has been many, many weeks since I filmed a video. Um, and that is probably because it has been. <laughs> but anyway, I'm feeling much better. I did not do much diamond painting while I was feeling sick and I will go into that in my whip and chat. I had some very strange symptoms. Um, but now that I'm feeling better, I'm ready to diamond paint again. And I decided that I wanted to take part in the Drills and Chills event. Now, as many of you know, I'm not really an events person. I don't like to do events just because I hate choosing my canvas to match an event. I'm someone who prefers to look at my stash and work on what is speaking to me at the time. And I often find, obviously, with events that doesn't apply. You have to go to your stash and you have to find a canvas that actually matches the theme of the event. That said, we are coming into the Halloween spooky season and so I am quite happy to work on a Halloween type kit. And also, in all honesty, Diamond Art Club recently sort of disclosed in their VIP group um, the prize packages that they are putting up for drills and chills and they really are putting up some lovely grand prizes some really nice big um, gift cards and with me being a massive diamond art club fan and with me spending as much money with them as I do spend it would be very silly for me not to enter <laughs> so with all that in mind this is the kit that I have decided I would like to work on and that I want to enter for the event so today's unboxing is going to be of this gorgeous kit that I have had in my stash for some time and I just haven't worked on it because it's one of these kits that I just kept wanting to keep but I've decided now to pull it out and I'm going to work on it. So this is Moonlight Bride by Anne Julie Aubrey. It's a round drill diamond painting in the size 51 times 71 centimeters. So you guys are familiar with the Diamond Art Club boxes. It is very easy to see whether your kit is round or square because it says it quite clearly here, round diamonds. If this was a square drill kit, then this would be a blue square. So yeah, guys, very easy to tell um, what diamonds you have or what drills you're going to be working with, you know, when you open a specific kit. So guys, as always, you know the drill with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this box and this kit. I'm going to get everything laying out nicely on the table and then we can have a look at it. Um, just one thing to show you is this envelope that I have just attached to the top here. If you are someone who ordered this kit and maybe you haven't worked on it yet, if memory serves me correctly, there was a problem with the special drills or the special drill. I think there's only one type. I'm not sure. We'll check when we get into it. But I think these kits got sent out and then people realized that they were missing a specific special drill. And so Diamond Art Club then had to separately send out that special drill. And that is what I've just attached to the box here. So obviously I will open this up as well and it will all be on the table. And then we can have a look at the content of this box. So guys, give me a second and I'll be right back. Right friends, I am back and on your screen right now is obviously the contents of the box. I've opened up the box, I've put everything on the table, so let's take a closer look. So first things first, you do get this little sticker which most people use on the side of their boxes or maybe even in their logbooks. I tend to put this on the side of my box because you know, just how I store my boxes, um, I need this extra sticker to put on the side. 
You then also do get a thank you note from the founder. There's some diamond painting instructions in here and information about the Facebook group and also a discount code for future purchases. So have a look at that, you guys, if you are fairly new to Diamond Art Club. Then you get your toolkit. Now, I am not going to open up the whole toolkit. I'm just going to show you the two important things. But for now, just know that everything you need to diamond paint is in this toolkit. You will get a tray, you will get a pen, squidgy, wax, everything that you need is in here. And then what you get with Diamond Art Club that is really nice is you will always get a cover minder. This is the cover minder that came with this kit. And it's so cute. <laughs> I love this one and I'm always happy to get cover minders that I don't already have in my stash and I don't have anything like this so that is great and then the other thing that Diamond Art Club includes which is lovely is they always include some washi tape so this is the washi tape that came in this kit a pretty plain sort of washi tape a pinkish color nice to have not specifically matching to this kit i wouldn't say but nice to put into my stash anyway i am someone who does section off my canvases and so this will come in handy then guys let's move on to the sticker sheet unfortunately as you can see at the bottom here my sticker sheet did come a little bit messed up which is very unusual for diamond art club but is not a problem for me because all the stickers that pertain to the actual symbols all the way up to number 29 are here this one here i don't think was a number 30 um, we will see when we turn the kit over but you can see at the top here also these stickers came loose but never mind it doesn't bother me because the actual stickers you know to go onto the storage containers appear to all be there so let's just have a closer look at this so it would appear that there are three ab's in this kit that's the number one two and three how i know that is because any dmc number under 150 with diamond art club is an ab drill so it would appear that there are three here and then if you have a look at the bottom guys have a look at number 28 and 29 those are oh actually and 27 as well these all appear to be special diamonds there's an l5200 a y104 and a y199 so definitely you know those are not your regular dmc numbers and so those appear to be special drills then just to show you on this side this is the sticker that i generally use for my logbook you can see at the top here you can input your start date and your end date obviously then you get a, a, a sticker of the image and then the details of the image which i have already told you guys about isn't this image just glorious you guys look at the spooky lady in a nighttime forest with butterflies around her and this big butterfly in the front here that is sort of out of focus oh i just love this one like i say currently one of my favorite images in my stash and so i really hope i'm gonna just love working on it so anyway guys that is the sticker sheet then we get the drills so now firstly just to show you guys this is what came in that extra packet that i had attached to the outside of my box so this is the y104 these are large pearl type you know um diamonds very unusual these are some of the special drills and then you get your normal packet of drills which i'm not going to open right now but just to show you how it comes you can see also that the bag itself is um, labeled with the code of the kit as well as the name of the kit so if you store your drills separately obviously that is very easy then to find your drills now here i wanted to show you guys are some more special drills this is the y106 but now does it not look like there's another Y? And if we have a look here, there's only a Y104 and a Y106. Why am I not seeing that on any of the stickers? Unless there was a number 30. No, it can't be because 106 would follow 104. Oh, wait. I think what happened. I think it's coming back to me now. I think what happened, if I remember correctly, is that Diamond Art Club put this 106 in the pack by mistake. Because if you look how huge these, these um, diamonds are, or these special drills, together with the fact that they're yellow, I don't think they belonged with this kit. So yes, it's coming back to me. They included the wrong 
drills and that's why they then had to send out the Y104 separately. So these I will just obviously keep in my stash and see if at any stage I can use them. We will have a little bit of a closer look at the drills towards the end of this unboxing but I just wanted to show you how they came. Right, so that's pretty much the contents of the box. Now on your screen is the canvas. I have managed to get it to lie fairly flat, not 100% yet, um, but I've also managed to not look at the image yet, so that when I reveal this, it's going to be a surprise for me as well. So just to let you guys know, Diamond Art Club has a very soft, velvety type canvas. You can also see that they do the whole scalloped edges and poked holes so you won't get any fraying you shouldn't get fraying and you shouldn't get bits of canvas or bits of cotton onto your glue field and onto your actual canvas you know the the, the front side of the canvas so right this one also just so that you know i did roll it backwards by rolling it backwards you know i mean rolling it like this which you can do because this is a poured glue canvas we will talk about that a little bit more in a second so guys let's have a look at this image I'm excited, I'm excited. <laughs> let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh wow, that is stunning. And actually not too big either. It's a 51 by 71, I think. But let's just have a look from the top. Let me just pan her up and down so that you can get a full view. Because obviously, you know, it doesn't all fit into the, the viewfinder at one time. So you can see the top here, it is curling, it's not wanting to lie back, but that's not a, a lie back, lie flat. It's not a big problem, I will roll it back again and I will just store it under some heavy objects for a while. But let's just take a look at this image. Oh, I love the image and I love the colours. I'm really liking these colours that are going on in the background over here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Lots of confetti at the bottom can see there's lots of color changes here to get probably the more hazy look here at the bottom but then some nice areas of color blocking here in her dress there's lots of white going on there maybe some areas of color blocking here in the background you know the black sections um yeah here's quite a bit of confetti actually lots of color changes here so maybe a little bit less color blocking than i was expecting but before we go into all of that let me just give you some rehash the stats so it's a round drill painting as i mentioned guys it does indeed come with 29 colors and three ab's and also three special drills so if you have a look over here you can see that you have a legend and you know on the top left and then you also have another legend on the bottom right you then get information about the kit on the bottom here so you will get a thumbnail image all the the specs of the kit it's a 51 by 71 centimeter kit here's the diamond art club um facebook information and instagram information and then obviously confirmation on the bottom right here of your warranty so i think that is really all i can say about the stats so what do you guys think oh i'm super excited to work on her i think she's going to be really really fun i'm loving the look of this one it's definitely halloweeny definitely a bit spooky so really really looking forward to it so yes, guys, just to rehash, Diamond Art Club does use poured glue, so you can roll this canvas backwards if your canvas is not lying properly like mine isn't yet. Um, I will work on it further, you know, and obviously to get it to lie back uh, properly or to more like, yeah, yeah, to lie more flat, let's put it that way. As for the plastic cover, it's decent. It's it's a little bit on the thinner side. It's not nice and thick like an ever moment um cover you know jaded gem shop also has that thick cover because well they ever moment kits so sort of ever moment and jaded gem shop have the nicest plastic covers i think this one is okay it doesn't feel like it would tear very easily it is slightly thinner though as for the glue sticky test oh yes feeling absolutely perfect i'm not going to have any problems with the glue so guys let's maybe have a little bit of a closer look at some of the symbols let me just try and pull this canvas up to the camera so you guys can have a look this it almost looks like almost looks like square drills doesn't it is this definitely rounds yeah the drills are rounds 
But look at the drill field. It looks like squares. <laughs> Why have I not noticed this before? Is this a new thing with Diamond Art Club? This almost looks like... Wow, guys. This looks very much like this is supposed to be a square drill kit. Okay, no. Hold on, hold on. Here on these symbols... Uh, let me just try and get the camera to focus. There you go. You can see actually the rounds. Now those guide circles are so light that I didn't see them at first. And that's what made it look like a square. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I can now clearly see that it's not a, a square. On the ends, for example, I can't see the guide circles at all. So there and on the X's, can we see guide circles? Mm. Not really. So with these symbols, it does indeed look like it's a square, but it isn't. It's a round. But basically, I just wanted to show you guys how clear the symbols have been printed. Look at the quality of the printing on these symbols. So absolutely perfect. Can't see any problems with any of those. Let's have a look at her face. Her face seems to have been rendered really nicely. Again, these... Symbols are immensely clear, very clear printing. I don't think there's going to be anything to get confused here. Let's have a look at some of the white in her dress. Yes, again, there you can clearly see that this is around, definitely around drill diamond painting. So yeah, guys, these symbols look perfect. I can't imagine that I'm going to have any problems with the symbols. You know, which is normal for Diamond Art Club. Do we ever really get problems with the Diamond Art Club symbols? <laughs> well, let me maybe say I've been lucky enough not to have problems with them. Right, so I think that's a good look at the canvas. Very excited to work on it. I'm not sure if I should take these drills out. Let's maybe just have a look at some of these special drills. Okay, so these were the ones that were indeed included by mistake. Um, you can see there's no yellow in this canvas. So these were the drills that were had to be replaced. And then here, okay, just a few, only about six. Look at, let me turn it this way. Oh, that's like that 310 AB. I actually love the 310 ABs. I know that some people don't, but I love the look at that. Look at look at that different colors that are coming off of that one. Very, very pretty. Okay, and then as for the rest of the colors. Guys, I don't normally take everything out and go through it, you know, one by one and by DMC color because I know not everybody's interested in that. But just giving you a bit of a look of, you know, at the colors. You've obviously got black, three tens. You've got some purples, some blues, some grays. Obviously the white. That's quite a few big bags of white, obviously, because of her dress. So you've got those. 939, some greys, some blues in the 803. Just having a look. So, yeah, I mean, I think that pretty much just gives you a little bit of a look at the colors. I think what I need you guys to do is to let me know in the comments below with unboxing videos, what do you like to see? Are you okay to just glance at the, the diamonds like this? Or do you prefer me to open them up and just to lay them you know, on the canvas, and then we can actually have a look at them. I'm not going to be someone who's going to literally tell you each DMC number, but let me know how you feel about drills when you watch an unboxing video. Are you okay to just take a glimpse like this as an example, or is this not good enough? Would you prefer that, you know, I obviously open them up and put them on the the table so that you can get a good look a better look at them so yes leave me a comment if you've gotten this far in the video please leave me a comment below about that and other than that guys i think that pretty much wraps up today's unboxing i don't want my unboxing videos to go on for too long it's more just to show you guys the kit what the rendering looks like and then just to give you a general idea of the you know, of the color palette so that you can see if it would be something that would appeal to you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thanks for choosing to spend your time with me. What do you think of this kit? Do you think, you know, this is the perfect Halloween kit or are you not into these type of images? And like I've said, please do let me know what you prefer with the drills because I think I need your feedback about all of that. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do that, guys. 
Um, it's obviously very rewarding to see the channel grow and then I at least know that I'm making diamond painting content that you guys enjoy. Happy diamond painting friends. Bye.